Well, good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, I, I know it's a strange time for us. Uh, so I'm here for you. This is our week one, um, and it's kind of bringing some normalcy back to at least our schools and and our opportunities for learning and just finishing up the semester. I'm in the classroom right now, and it's fairly empty and a little lonely, but I do have my plants to take care of, so I'll be back in here in and out, uh, maybe to make these videos each week for you, and also because uh, I miss the school. I miss y'all uh, for sure, and then to keep my plants alive because they need water. All right, I'm healthy. I'm happy to be here, and I hope you're happy uh, to start this up. Uh, without further ado, let's look at uh, this semester overview and just how we're going to finish things up. Because uh, just based on my best understanding, we will uh, be doing uh, distant learning for the remainder of the semester. So, for, I, you know, for the next month and a half, this is pretty much what we'll do to complete our responsibilities to pass the class. Uh, if you have any concerns, uh, say you're failing as of the 10 week grades, um, just you know, reach out to me, send me a text uh, through the Remind app or, or send me an email if you have a non-passing grade and I'm happy to talk with you and try to figure that out. We have a little bit of time, I can help you figure that out. And this, this distant learning uh, opportunity is a really great way to keep that grade you love right now. I'm gonna make it very easy for you to do that. And uh, it's really a low stress, low pressure uh, setup. So I think when you look at the routine that we'll have each week, I think you're gonna be really happy with it and knowing it's not uh, gonna wear you out. Cause I know your priorities probably aren't the classroom right now. It's probably secondary in your life and you're probably spending more time uh, taking care of family or helping out around the house. Uh, so let's get started. So this is the week one review. This is what we're going to do for week one. Uh, the screen's cutting off a bit, but at the bottom, you can see uh, quiz. Wait. All right. So yeah, focus your attention now on the presentation. I took it out of presentation mode just because it was cutting off quiz one here. And the uh, little screencasting software I used was getting weird. All right. So we're going to talk about week one. Week one is review for us. It's us picking up where we left off uh, before uh, we closed down the in-person school classes. And before we left, which was that first uh, two weeks in March, we were discussing what is DNA. We were discussing what's a gene and what's a protein and their relationship together. So uh, DNA, genes, and proteins. Uh, we're going to do some Edpuzzle videos that will help us explore these questions. And I have a textbook worksheet also that I've already posted actually on Google Classroom for you. And so, and then we have a quiz number one. Cool. So I went ahead and added the textbook worksheet since it's a common part of our, our routine uh, for each week. So this week we have, we're going to go over our new weekly routine. And we're also going to spend some time reviewing uh, using Edpuzzle videos, which is another part of our basic routine is always Edpuzzle. So these questions you see here, what's DNA, what's a gene, what's a protein? This will uh, be, uh, we'll explore these questions and these problems uh, through Edpuzzle, just like we've always done before. So Edpuzzle is really the foundation for each week. Um, and we'll also use the textbook a little, which is a new thing for us. We've, we've used it very little, but most, I'd say 99% of you at home have your textbook. And we also have an online version, so you can easily complete this textbook worksheet activity. And then every Thursday um, of each week, we'll have a quiz. And it won't be as rigorous as it once was because you're at home and it's harder to get help and it's, you may not have as much time to study. But they will be quizzes. We'll call them quizzes. Um, but I, uh, I think after this week, you won't be as nervous about the quizzes, so don't worry. Again, it's about maintaining that grade you love in class for the rest of the semester. It's not me trying to change your grade dramatically, um, so don't stress. All right, let's look real quick at our new weekly routine. And let's click on the link. We got it right here. Okay, so... What's our Monday through Friday schedule? What that's what is that going to look like? So each week I'm going to do it the exact same way. Every every Monday I'll post some work to you, and then uh, by Thursday you'll get to take a quiz based on that week's information. And it's a lot less information. 
it's it's a smaller percent of the amount of vocab or ideas or concepts that you would normally have and you need that because we're again we're trying to support you uh, at home and we know it can be uh, stressful so the amount of work uh, that you're going to be expected to do um, when I give it to you on Monday uh, and when it's due on Thursday will be uh, much less than what you're used to so for those of you who uh, like having more time to yourself and not having to worry about school and helping your family this it's all about you helping you okay uh, so our weekly or our weekly routine you don't have to replay that part of the video uh, will be uh, Monday I'll, I'll drop you some work and then on Thursday uh, we'll take a quiz Here's a nice graphic I try to make to help you a bit. Uh, on Mondays, expect a YouTube video like this that just kind of goes over what the week will look like. And again, our week will always be the same. I'll post a YouTube video. I'll show you the Edpuzzle videos that you're supposed to watch. I'll share with you the digital worksheet uh, that you're to work on. Tuesday and Wednesday and Monday are all available for you to work on the YouTube videos. Uh, uh, get that puzzle done and do your digital worksheet. And then on Thursday, like it shows here, Thursday that work is due. So by Thursday, I expect you to have your Ed puzzles done. I expect you to have the digital textbook worksheet done. And then you take the quiz. Uh, and I put the signal here, uh, Google Classroom uh, icon, because everything's being done through uh, Google Classroom. I'm posting this YouTube video you're listening to now. You're listening to it because you went to Google Classroom. Uh, you do your digital worksheet because you went to Google Classroom. You take your quiz because, again, you went to Google Classroom and you logged in. After Thursday, um, the goal is, is on Friday to have a day for you to check in with me if you have any questions. And you can even do FaceTime. So if you miss kind of the feeling of having a classroom, you can... Uh, connect with me on Fridays just for I'm just I'm making myself available for an hour on Fridays and I'm literally gonna sit probably at my home at a desk and I'll be working during that full hour 930 to 1030 on Fridays and if you want to check in and just look at me and laugh and get out or if you want to say hi or if you want to uh, check in and get help with something uh, ask questions or if you want to log in and see some of your your fellow students um, that'd be great and it'll give us a sense kind of being back in the classroom but that's my that's my plan right now our weekly routine and then uh, of course at the end uh, the last day on Fridays you can check in the only thing you need uh, to do the the kind of the class time office hours is the Google meets app and I'm gonna use that it seems to have less glitches and, and less problems so the Google the Google meets app I know it's another app that you're expected to have I think a lot of our teachers will be using it. Um, maybe other teachers you have have already used it before. Um, I've been using it with friends. I've been using it uh, to do work with colleagues. It's nice. I can show you some work. I can put up on the screen uh, an activity you might need help with. And it's you can see uh, face to face. If you don't want your your face and you know have real FaceTime. You don't have to do that either. You can turn off the FaceTime and just ask me questions, and I'll hear you through audio. But it's uh, if you don't want the FaceTime part, it's basically just for, it's like us having a phone call, and you can get uh, immediate help without having to text and stuff. Um, but if you don't need that, it's it's not a problem. It's it's a it's me trying to uh, give you an opportunity to get real time help if you don't want to go through the texting and emailing. But I'm excited about it, and I'll I'll give you more information on that on Friday I'll post the link on Google Classroom so you can click on that and then stop by and say hi on Friday for anything you need but this is our weekly schedule Monday through Thursday is kind of like what we've always had Ed puzzle videos due on Thursday a textbook activity due on Thursday take the quiz on Thursday and then check in with me through Google meets on Fridays if you want any help or just to say hi all right simple and I, I think after week one, you'll realize just how simple it is. And I think it'll be uh, a stress reliever. So if you're having any stresses after this week, if nothing goes right, we'll, we'll have plenty of time to talk about it on Friday through Google Meets. Or uh, you can just keep texting me. Let's look at Google Classroom and just see what it looks like, uh, the assignments I've posted. 
All right, so this is the period six banner for uh, our biology cl uh, Google Classroom. You can see right here it says week one textbook worksheet. Uh, it says get your text uh, textbook or online textbook, and there's a link for it right here. So this right here is the online textbook if you don't have yours. And you use it uh, to complete this Google Form textbook worksheet. And the, Google, the textbook worksheet looks like a quiz. You're going to see me using these Google Forms all the time because they're just so easy to use, and you're used to it. Um, so even if it doesn't, uh, uh, even if it looks like a quiz, it ain't, okay? If I call it a worksheet, it is. If I call it a survey, it's not a quiz. Don't stress. And right here, the online textbook, I want to click on it just so you can kind of see what it looks like. For this textbook worksheet, we're going to chapter 11, and you just click on the link, and this is what it, this is what the online version looks like. This isn't what your real textbook version looks like, and you're just going to do section 11.1. .1. So you only use the textbook, and you only use chapter 11.1 .1 as much as you need, as much as you need to answer the questions on the textbook worksheet. Here's the textbook worksheet, and it's just one textbook worksheet per week. And you can see it's it's an abbreviated, abbreviated amount of work. And if you read through the textbook or the online version for section uh, chapter 11.1, .1, it will help you complete this these uh, tasks. Once you've completed it all, you've put your name, you've identified the period you are, you submit it. And then you'll get your, your score. Your score is out of nine points. And you can find out immediately after you turn this in, you can find out immediately how well you did. It'll tell you your score immediately because, again, this ain't a quiz. And you can even change your answer. So you can edit all your responses. So there's no reason anyone can't get nine out of nine. And that's how it's going to be every week for these textbook worksheets. You can get a perfect score every time. All right, the next thing on Google Classroom that was posted for week one was the Bulldog Way. And it's an opportunity for you to reflect on, let's see here, uh, just our expectations uh, and the ways that we kept a positive campus or the ways we try to keep a positive campus um, and the ways that we want to encourage you to be successful and positive at home now that we're doing the distant learning. Um, it has different sections, and some of you have already done this. Some of the some of this is just uh, um, uh, already completed, no problem for you. If you haven't done it yet, it's expected for week one. And you just you think about different different aspects of your life, and and you as a student at home, and you fill it out. This is a unique thing just for week one. This uh, the Bulldog Way uh, activity. You just do it this one week, and we'll call it good. So it's a unique, unique thing for week one. All right, back to Google Classroom. The only thing on Google Classroom that I haven't posted yet is the Edpuzzle videos. And the Edpuzzle videos are these three. These are the three Edpuzzle videos of the week. You can see that it's what, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's about 12 minutes of video content. And it's all about helping us understand the problems of the week, which is what is DNA? What's a gene? And why, and why do we need proteins? And, and what is their relationship together? DNA, genes, and proteins. What's their relationship? And then, again, that's review. These videos are review from where we last left off uh, before we uh, uh, left our classrooms and, and went into the homeschool kind of distant learning. So it's all just review. So to recap for week one, our very first week of distant learning, um, every Monday you will have a video kind of like this just to go over the Edpuzzle videos that are assigned, uh, the textbook worksheet, and anything new that comes up that we just need help with. Um, so you always get a, a weekly Monday uh, YouTube video from me. And then uh, don't forget on Mondays you have your Edpuzzle videos to start working on. You have a digital worksheet to work on. You have Monday through Wednesday to get that done. And then on Thursday you're expected to be done and take a quiz on Thursday, an easy quiz, don't be scared. And then on Friday, we have optional office hours for you to say hi, visit, socialize with your friends uh, in biology class, uh, get help from you, whatever it is. And that's using the Google Meets app, and that's from 9.30 to 10.30. All right, good luck. Take care. I miss you all. All right.
I'll see you next week.